Hello YouTubers, welcome back. This is another video of the 7870 Tahili. Okay, today's video will be all about um, crossfire with the 7870 and how it performs. So as you can see, I've got a second 7870 now. It's the VTX Radeon. It's designed on the same architecture as the other XFX graphic card which I also showed you a review of before. So this is the new card, my old cards here. Now you'll be very shocked at uh, how good these two cards actually work in Crossfire. When I first decided to pick up a second X Wait there, sorry. A second um, 7870. I was a bit sceptical on the old Crossfire. Because I read a lot of reviews saying that basically you'll have lots of problems with games working and stuff like this. But at first I did have a few problems getting used to um, setting up profiles and all that stuff. Now I've got to say that it was the best decision that I actually made. It runs my games perfect. See a slight bit of um, stuttering from time to time. But we'll see when I get I'll actually um, install them into the rig. And show you exactly what these can do. Now first of all I've got to remind you both these cards are 2 gig each. So 2 gigabytes of onboard memory each. Also, they are not regular 7870s. There are actually um, XT versions, which is um, designed on the 7900 series, I believe. So, actually, these cards should be in the 900 series. So, um, I'll show you a bit closer of the new card, because you've seen the old one. So, the new card's just got one fan, as you can see. Which is a bit strange because the one fan is actually cooler than this one. Now, you'd be thinking, well, it's got two fans. It's going to be cooler, the two fan one. No, nope. not at all. This one, obviously, sorry about my finger. This one, obviously, requires an 8 pin and a 6 pin. So, it requires a lot more power than this one. This one only requires two 6 pins. So... I'm thinking, in theory, the one with the single fan is obviously um, using less juice than this one. So, um, this one has been able to keep cool a lot cooler. Obviously, you will have to keep in mind that if your case is not well ventilated, you could literally cook these cards. Um, I will show you the case and the setup I'm using to do these benchmarks and this test. Okay, we have a Asus Z77 motherboard. We have um, 8 gigs of 16, no, not 1600, sorry, um, 1866 megahertz RAM. I have took out the other two sticks because I want to do this fair for people that obviously are on, on a budget. So most people on a budget will buy 8 gigabytes of memory instead of 16 16 is overkill to be fair it's just i just um, brought it just to be basically future proof as they say but you can never be future proof okay we have a 750 watt power supply which is enough power to power both these cards even though they do use a lot of wattage okay there is a sound card in there that is just um an added sound card for obviously my headphones and that's all really there is an ssd on the other side mounted you cannot actually see that it's a samsung ssd and it's in a um Zalman case so okay i'm going to stop this video now and i'm going to get onto the computer screen install both cards and um we'll run a few benchmarks with crossfire off and then crossfire on and we'll see the differences Give me a minute. 
Hello and welcome back. Well, as you can see, I've installed the graphic cards back into the rig. One thing I want to note is I didn't say the CPU in the rig spec. So the CPU is a 3770K, or not i7 processor. So enough of a good processor to run these both cards in Crossfire. Also, it's clocked at stock, which is 3.9 gigahertz for these tests, because obviously I could overclock it, but don't really need to. And okay, the top card is the cooler card, so I've put the black one at the top, even though it's singular fan. For some strange reason, it's a lot cooler. Um, the XFX card at the bottom is obviously double fan, but it doesn't get used as much in all games, like 100% usage unless you're really maxing out the games so I'll put that one at the bottom um, it's connected up to the 750 watt power supply and the stock speed for the top one is um, what, what that? Nine, 975 megahertz on the GPU clock and 1500 megahertz on the memory clock and the second card which is the XFX is a thousand megahertz on the GPU clock and one hundred no one thousand and one thousand two hundred and fifty on the memory clock. So obviously they're both different in terms of speeds. So what I've done is set it back, set both cards back to their original stock before overclocks. So that would be 925 megahertz on both GPU clocks. So they're both running at 925 megahertz. And the memory clocks will be running at 1250 megahertz. As you can see, if I turn around, there's the main screen. And here is the second screen. If I zoom in, you will see what I mean. So... As you can see 925 for the GPU clock and memory this requires obviously then less power to power both cards and less heat is produced by these cards so that is what that's what I have heard it anyway now as you can see on this one it might be a bit light so I'm going to go now to the crossfire give me a second and I don't know if you'll be able to see this. You, well, I don't think you'll be able to see this. Okay, so I'm going to move this. Bring you a lot closer in. And show you that at the moment, Crossfire is disabled. Okay. So now we'll zoom back out. Get you back onto the main screen. Now, this is... It's just to show you what you'd get with a singular card. Now we're going to run some high, high demanding games. So first of all, first off, I think we should try Assassin's Creed. Now I've noticed with Assassin's Creed on a singular 7870, you really are pushing if you want to max this game out. And then don't forget that basically the top corner is the fraps. V-Sync is now off. So you will be getting true frames. Give me a second just to set up the camera properly so we don't have any issues while playing. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, just make this full screen. A 
love a bit of sound. As you can see, it's 31 frames per second at the minute. I'll move the mouse over so it doesn't. Anyway, 31 frames a second. This is in the main menu on a singular card. I'll show you the options that it's set to. Now, it's set at 1080p. Very high, the max it can go. Texture quality, the max it can go. Anti aliasing, the max it can go, which is time 16. Shadow quality, the max it can go. Reflections, max. Motion blur, maxed. Maxed. God rays, I'll put that on high. V sync is off. Okay, so the game is maxed out. Show you. Okay, as you can see, got a frame rate of roughly 13, 15, through about 16. Playable if you really, really can deal with the slowness, because it does feel a little bit slow, to be honest. As you can see, blurry as well, very blurry. Well, thirteen frames. So very, very, very um, dependent on whether you can play it at this. But I don't think you, you can. Obviously, you could definitely play it by lowering settings easily. You could definitely get it playable by lowering settings, but if you want to max out this game on a single Tahili 7870, then that is not possible, really playable properly. Okay, so standing still, we have roughly about eight fr 18 frames. It does look really good, this game, as you can see. This is why I'm using this game as a benchmark. Not going to use benchmark software because obviously that is sometimes programmed for certain graphic cards so you want to really get into game and to be honest if you got into action this would dip really down quite low so okay now we will quit the game as you can see crossfire is enabled running at the same clock speeds is both GPUs enabled and now we'll run Assassin's Creed again here we go 35 frames now so as you can see a hell of a lot smoother no slowness at all playable very playable. And yeah, just going back to the ship. Just to show you. So 35 frames to about 40 frames a second. As you can see. Very playable indeed. Sixty frames a second. So, as I said, two graphic cards, definitely a lot better than one. And does definitely give you an improved frame rate. 60 frames a second on Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I should definitely give you um, inspiration to get a second 7870 if 